Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe if you're new. Please subscribe. If you want to interact with us, you can find us on Facebook as um on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse and feel free to uh, interact with us and we'll be more than glad to interact with you too um if you love reading you can check out my blog uh, morning coffee with funny and just enjoy the content that i put out there uh a big shout out to the person that suggested this they suggested i react to does islam agree with darwin theory or evolution very interesting a big shout out to the person that suggested this and a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel likes our stuff shares our stuff and is actually watching this video you guys are the best and thank you for everything thank you for 19,000 subscribers and yeah so without wasting time by the way this is a dr zaki naik video so without wasting time let's get into the video with regard to the evolution of homo sapiens you have Charles Darwin in science giving an, an explanation that it's because of the process of natural selection that the human beings have evolved now this is, seems to be in contradiction with the Islamic belief that we have we are the children of Adam alayhi salam now how can this be reconciled it's a very important question no lecture of mine on this topic of Quran modern science is complete without this question. I have given this talk in various places in Canada, in USA, in UK, in Saudi. Never is this topic complete, never is the question answer complete without this important question of theory of evolution. Charles Darwin, since I posed the question, how can you reconcile the Quran with Darwin's theory of evolution? Sister, I have not come across any book which says fact of evolution all the books say theory of evolution there is no book I have come across saying fact of evolution if you read the book by Charles Darwin the origin of species it says that Charles Darwin went on an island by the name of Calatropis on a ship named as HMS Beagle and there he found birds pecking at niches depending upon the ecological niches they pecked the beaks sorry kept on becoming long and short this observation was made in the same species not in different species Charles Darwin wrote a letter to his friend Thomas Thompson in 1861 saying I do not believe in natural selection the word that you used I don't believe in theory of evolution because I've got any proof I only believe in it because it helps me in classification of embryology in morphology in rudimentary organs Charles Darwin himself said that there were missing links he didn't agree with it he himself said that there were missing links therefore if I have to insult someone that if you were present at Darwin's time this theory would have been proved right trying to insinuate that he looks like an ape it's a joke we make the reason that this theory in most parts of the world it is taught as good as fact you know why? Even I was in school, I learned about Darwin's theory. And even today they are taught. You know what the reason is, sister? The reason is because that if you analyze the church, the church was against science previously. And you know the incidents that they sentenced Galileo to death. They sentenced Galileo to death. Why? Because he said certain statements in astronomy, etc., which went against the Bible. So they sentenced him to death, for which the Pope apologized now. So, when Charles Darwin came up with the theory which goes against the Bible, they didn't, they didn't want any sufficient proof. An enemy of my enemy is my friend. So all the scientists, most of them, they supported the theory because it went against the Bible, not because it was true. They only supported it because it went against the Bible. All the stages we have mentioned, sister. All the stages. You see, there were four hominoids. Science tells us today there are four hominoids. First is Lucy, along with its guide, the Australopithecus, which died about three and a half million years, nice age. Then next came the Homo sapiens, who died about 500,000 years ago. 
Then came the Neanderthal man, who died 100 to 40,000 years ago. Then came the fourth stage, the Cro-Magnon. There is no link at all between these stages. According to P.P. Grasse in 1971, who held the chair of evolutionary studies in Paris, in the Shoujo University, he said, it is absurd. We cannot say who are ancestors based on fossils. I can give you a list of hundreds of scientists and Nobel Prize winner who speak against Darwin's theory. Hundreds. If you know of Sir Albert Georgi, who got the Nobel Prize for inventing, for inventing the vitamin C, he wrote a book, The Crazy Ape and Man, against Darwin's theory. Again, if you read Sir Fred Hoyle's work, he wrote several works against Darwin's theory. If you know about Rupert Salbert, this person wrote a new theory of evolution against Darwin's theory. It's unthinkable. We cannot think that we are created from the apes. If you know of Sir Frank Salisbury, he was a biologist. He said it is illogical to believe in Darwin's theory. If you know about white meat, Sir White Meat, he wrote a book against Darwin's theory. He was also a biologist. Several, you can give a list of hundreds. Today it is taught in the schools why I told you. Media is in their hands. Otherwise, there is no proof at all. There are certain proofs at lower levels. An amoeba at lower species level, amoeba can change to paramecia. Quran does not say amoeba cannot change to paramecia. Quran does not say. If they have got proof, can be possible. It's not against the Quran. But there is no proof at all. People talk about molecular biology theory. They talk about genetic coding. According to Hansis Craig, who is authority in this field, he said it is unimaginable. Again, if you do that ratio, the probability of one DNA forming from ape to human being is again zero. If I start calculating, I think you will get bored again. You know the calculation I told you for one protein molecule? It is somewhat similar from one DNA. It is not possible at all. You know there's a theory recently that homosexuality is genetic. And when I read in the Times of India, I thought, surely the moment I attend the next lecture on Sunday in IRF, I'll be asked this question. If homosexuality is genetic, how can Allah blame us? Quran speaks against homosexuality. And I said that, see, this is a theory. Wait till it gets established. It's a theory. Don't comment on that. Within the matter of span of this few months, it was proved to be illogical. And the person who propounded this theory that homosexuality is genetic himself was an homosexual. <laughs> Therefore, I said, I'm going to give my talk on scientific facts, not on theories and assumptions. Darwin's theory has not been proven. We have not been created from ape. There are hundreds of scientists who speak against that, and Quran speaks against that also. Quran says the first man was Adam, peace be upon him. Inshallah, they'll discover it hundred years afterwards or maybe a thousand years afterwards. Today, there is research showing that human beings have been created from one pair. Again, it's just a theory. It supports the Quranic verse that human beings have been created from one pair, male and female. It's just a theory. Therefore, I don't quote that in my talk. Inshallah, it will be established 50 years afterwards or 100 years afterwards. Then we'll know that Quran conciliates with this part. So far, it's not conflicting. It's not conflicting with established science at all. Hope that answers the question. I'm just trying to think as to why schools would still um, offer something that's actually not proven. This is why I'm saying, that's why I enjoyed the previous video of the mind control thing. Here's information. This person is saying, we're from this species. This person is saying, life began in... Um, in the sea this is this person is saying everything began with god then what do you believe what do people believe because now the population is going to be divided these person are going to be irritated that these people believe this other thing who are also going to be irritated because someone else believes in something different why do we have different information why can't we just have something specific to describe or say where the everything began I don't understand confusing information causing confusion among the masses it really it's really something it really really bothers me that we don't have something grounded because there's someone watching this and saying this man is a job there's someone who's going to watch this and 
was going to say that's the best explanation I've come um I've actually watched otherwise to really really find the truth you not you people we all have to go back to um research reading go back to your books check out the theory if it makes sense to you go with it if it's what's in the bible that's going to make sense go with it if it's what's in the quran that's going to make sense go with it but at the end of the day what matters is you actually going out to do your own um research and picking something that actually makes sense to you we shouldn't let um what should i say we shouldn't let our judgment be controlled by maybe let me say our neighbors or something otherwise let me know what you guys actually think about this video the question was very very um interesting and something worth listening to and i enjoyed actually the response the response from dr zaki naik Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.